Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Square. This is the Franny's hair portion. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing four affordable wigs in reds from Paula Young. Okay, so yes, I am in my workout clothes, but I knew I wanted to get this video done. And if I didn't do it right now, I was not gonna get it done. I purchased four wigs from Paula Young. So this is part of the affordable wig series and I will give you the prices I paid. I usually get a discount on top of the already low prices. So make sure you look for those discounts. I get the Paula Young catalog and usually on the front, it'll have some sort of discount. Even if you go online, you can usually find a discount. I'm gonna tell you the prices of every wig, the features of every wig, and I also wanted to show you, I was curious about the different colors they had, and they will actually send you, for free, samples of the colors. So I asked for samples of the reds. Now, mind you, this is not all of the red colors I've noticed, but I got some here. So, for example, this is the 3328, which I think I got in one of the wigs. I thought that would be a fun color to have. So anyway, you might wanna order some of these samples so that you have the colors. Also in the catalog, there is a section, let me see if I can find it here, that will show you the different colors and the color numbers and names. So you can also take a look at that. Let's see how accurate the hair is against. So 3328, this is a good idea is this picture right here. And it's this first hair yeah, right here. So you can see it's pretty close to that picture there. Might look a little redder in the picture, but pretty close. So anyway, I ordered four wigs with different uh, features. I did find that I prefer a lace front. Without the lace front, I need a bang and I'm not a big bang person. And lace fronts really make it look like it's growing out of your head. This is a lace front. This is an Ellen, this is Sunset by Ellen Villa. And I did a review on that. I'll put a link here in case you didn't see that. I have it in two colors. I love this wig. In any case, I really like the lace front, so I go for that. And I do like a monofilament part, which will make it look like a natural part. But if I can't get the monofilament part, and I want the wig to be a little less expensive, I just get it rooted. That way you don't really see the part. It's like you have roots growing out and you don't see the part. So that's another way to do it if you're not going to get a monofilament part or top. Okay, so let's get into the wigs. I got four wigs. And I'm gonna start from the least expensive. So the least expensive is called CC. And let me just show you the picture in the catalog first of CC, okay. And I always watch reviews on YouTube of the wigs also, so make sure you do that. But here's the picture in the catalog of CC. And I noticed she had the darker roots. So she's less expensive and doesn't have a monofilament part, but I felt the darker root would help there. And she is a lace front. So I paid, I know it says $49.99 here, but I paid $34.99 for her. So let me grab her, here she is. This is what she looks like. And she does have that darker root, you see. And she is in the color 3328 number four. And I believe the number four is the rooting and the lower the number, the darker the color. So four is pretty dark, you can see. And the 3328 is actually that color that I just showed you, this first one here. So you can see, it's pretty accurate, right? Yeah, definitely. And it's the one I also showed you the picture of. So let's take a look at her cap. Still have the tags on her. I haven't worn her. All right, so here's the cap. So you can see she has the lace front here. Looks a little bent, maybe from sitting in the box, and it looks like I may have to trim it a little. We'll see when I put it on. This is where the permatease will be. So 
Parmesan cheese, I've had people ask me what that is. It's basically like it's been teased underneath and you can get height out of it. And people have asked if you can cut that out and I don't think you can. I think you would totally ruin the wig. So if you don't like permatease, I would say don't get a wig with it. I don't mind permatease. I like the height and I think it's necessary for certain styles so it doesn't bother me. It has open wefting, machine wefting. It has the Velcro adjusters. Let's see the name. It's not an extended nape. It's just a regular nape. And the ear tabs. I like this material of ear tab and it has the hairs spliced in there. You can see in the darker. So let's put her on and see what she looks like right out of the box. Basically. I like this color. Just move the lace to my hairline. It's hard for me to see in the camera. All right, so this is, I still have the tags on her, so excuse the tags. There we go. Just move it out of the way. This is right out of the box, not bad. I like the style of this. Hmm. I like the color too. And see how the rooting hides the part. You don't notice the part. So, that to me is, I'm learning the features that I'm looking for. I definitely like a lace front. Let's look at this lace front. How's it looking? I think it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, I'm liking that. Let me make sure the ear tabs. And the ear tabs have uh, the metal stays and they're long ones, they're nice big ones. Okay, so for $34.99, now I will probably spray her with a dry shampoo because she is a bit on the shiny side, but I'm gonna spin for you too. I really am liking this style. Here's the side. Hope you can see that. And the other side. <laughs> and the front. Yeah, I'm, I like the feel of this. It feels really nice. I, for $34.99, I'm impressed. Now, I did notice when I was watching the reviews, some people who got the blonde color, I felt the rooting was too dark for the blonde, but I don't feel that way about the red. So, and I'll probably, you know, wear it behind my ear. Maybe I'll wear this one today. <laughs> Really liking it. Let me know which one of these is your favorites. But for $34.99, pretty impressed. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next one is Heidi, and I paid $62.99 for her. Let me find her in the book. And if I can't find some of the wigs in the book, I'll just put pictures up when I edit the video. Because the Jacqueline Smith ones, I think, I couldn't find in the catalog for some reason. There's two versions of Heidi. One is not VersaFiber, and that comes up as $79.99 in the book, and one is a VersaFiber, and that comes up as $89.99, but, and I got the VersaFiber, and by the way, VersaFiber means it's heat friendly, so you can actually style it with a hair dryer or with a curling iron up to 350 degrees. So I got the one that had the VersaFiber, but I paid $62.99 for her, not $89.99, and this is it. I typically don't get wigs this long, but I thought it would be fun to try. And let's see what color I got her in. Let's get her over here. I got her in 24, oh, 3324 number four. So let me see, do I have a 3324 here? Here's 33, it's pretty dark. 24, they don't give me a 24 here, so I'm not really sure what the 24 is. And number four, I imagine is like the dark rooting on this one. The number four, yeah, here's the rooting. It's definitely the dark rooting. Okay, so this is Heidi. Whoa, <laughs> pretty colors though, right? Yeah, I'm liking it, it's a little bit, less red, I would say, than what I'm wearing here. A little bit more in the browns with some red. 
Okay, let's take a look at her cap. Okay, so she has a lace front. Again, I pretty much always get a lace front. Has some permatease right here. <clears throat> Open wefting, extended nape, it's the lace. Lace is not my favorite for the napes and for the ear tabs simply because I find them a little bit itchier. So we'll see if this feels itchy when it goes on, I'll let you know. And the Velcro stay, uh, the Velcro adjusters and the ear tabs are here with the hair spliced in, they're open ear tabs. You can see it's that open wefting. So that's what the cap looks like. All right, so let's put her on. Okay, let's get that lace front. Again, she has long metal stays, which are nice. I like them that way. They're more secure. So, and she has the lace front here. I don't know if it's a little loose on me. I'll have to try to adjust that. Cap size, by the way, the CC cap, CC cap felt very comfortable. It's adjustable. I'm a petite to average head, 21 and a half inch circumference. So it would definitely fit in average. I don't know about large heads, so I can't help you with that. Okay, so this is Heidi. Wow, a lot of hair, but fun, right? And this is right out of the box. This is amazing to me. It's a lot of hair. See if you can see the bottom there. And you can see it's a little bit more brown than the CC was, she had more red. I like these layers around the face here, like that. Yeah, I'm liking this. <laughs> All right, let me spin for you. So here's the side. My husband likes the shorter hair on me. He feels like it's more me, but every once in a while, I wanna just have fun. Okay, and the back, I don't know if you can see it all. I'll try to. The other side and the other side it's hard for me to tell if I'm getting it all in the picture okay so again didn't have the monofilament part but I got the rooted so you really can't see the part you see I think that's the way to go and for $62.99 ladies this is <laughs> I think I hit the jackpot with this haul so far I, I can't get over. I got all four of these wigs for $254, which was including the tax. I got free shipping on it. That's the cost of a really high-end wig on sale. So four wigs for that price. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm really curious, which is your favorites. I don't I can't pick a favorite between these two so far. I really love the cut of this. And this is out of the box. I have done nothing to it. And the Versa fiber, as you can see, is not as shiny. You'll find that with the heat friendly synthetic wigs that um, when they are heat friendly, they're more natural looking. They're not as shiny. All right, on to the next. Okay, so the next wig is by Jacqueline Smith and it's called Designer's Choice. And I just went to look for it online. Couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know if they ran out, if they'll be coming back. I'll show it to you anyway. I paid $69.99 for it and it's 100% hand knotted, it said. So I was very interested in that. Let me show you the cap here. It has a lace front and since it's hand knotted, it means you can part it anywhere and it'll look like a natural part. You can see what it looks like here. Really nice. Regular nape, not extended. Velcro adjusters, nice ear tabs, nice material here. And um, nice light cap. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be that hot even though it's not open wefting. The color is Auburn Sugar, which is one of my favorites in Jacqueline Smith. Um, and this is the wig. I love that color. And since it had that hand knotted top, let me see if you can see my fingers through it. 
Yeah, you see how you see my fingers through? It makes it look very natural. You'll just see through to your head. Um, I wasn't worried about rooting, so there's not rooting on this one. All right, so I'm gonna try this on for you. I hope that if you like this, that it's coming back. I have no idea. I can't find it anywhere. Definitely going on feels bigger than the others. It's still fine and I can tighten it. It has a lace front, so I think that looks good. And I like the light highlights along the lace front. I think that makes it look more natural. And let's see if you can see the part here. And if I were to part it somewhere else, you see, it's just very, I don't know if I'm making a mess up there. Yeah, look at that, very natural looking. So I have the wig grip with the lace on it. I would move the lace if I could to wherever I'm gonna part it. My natural part's on this side anyway. So I like this, oh, nice. And this feels lower density, feels very natural, feels like more like my regular hair, finer uh, hair. And I would probably, you know, train this to go up. But I re and uh, the color, this auburn sugar, I really like also. I'm surprised how much I like the reds. Um, I think they're warmer. You know, so I guess depending on if you like a warmer or a cooler look, that's what you would choose. But um, I really am liking them, especially when they have light highlights running through them. Okay, so let me spin for you. This is the front and the side. Like that. Let me get to the other side. Spinning on a sofa is not easy. And the other side. Again, for $69.99, hand knotted. I hope if you're interested in this that it does come back. I won't spend too much time on it just in case it doesn't. Okay, so we have the last wig, which is another Jacqueline Smith stage presence. And I got it in Auburn Sugar Rooted. The rooting again is number four, so it's that dark color rooted. So let's get that. Now this one I have worn. When it came, I put it on and loved it. So this is that auburn sugar color. Isn't it beautiful? And it has the rooting, you can see there. So let's take a look at the cap. And I paid $69.99 for this one as well. All right, so here we go. We have the lace front, permatease right here, no monofilament part, but I have the rooting, so that'll hide that part for me. Open wefting, not extended nape, but it is the nice material. Adjustable, Velcro adjustable straps, and the ear tabs in the nice material too. It's nice and soft, you can see there. So let's put this on for you. Pull the lace front up. I really like how she has the highlights around the face. I think that looks nice. And this is definitely a higher density wig than that last one I had on. You can see it's a lot more hair. I don't have my comb here. Let me make sure my ear tabs are straight. Where is this ear tab? There it is. <laughs> Her um, adjustable metal stays are also an, a decent size. I'm not sure if they're quite as big as the Paula Young ones, but decent. Okay, so here you can see, I like that kind of razored bottom edge there. Here's the part with the dark rooting. Again, no monofilament part, but I think that rooting hides it beautifully. Okay. Here's the front and the side. The back. Get to the other side. And the other side. So I noticed when my hair is down like this without me pulling it back at all, it looks darker because those 
highlights are under there. So if I pull it back, I can see the highlights better. And like I said, I did wear this, so I kind of trained this front back. Now, I think the only heat-friendly wig that I got was the VersaFiber Heidi, that long wig. This says, chic lace front lob wig with center part and razor finished edges. I think my part's more on the left here. I have my ear tabs even. Yeah, yeah, it looks more to the left to me. But anyway, in the picture, it shows it more center. You can see there. And it's listed for 99 to 106.99, but again, I paid 69.99. Look for those deals. Paula Young usually has really good deals going on. Shoulder skimming lengths with feathery razored ends give this fabulous long bob wig so much appeal. The model inspired center part, again, I think it's more left, and full sides beautifully frame the face and complete the effortlessly stylish look. Easy care. Synthetic fibers, I can't say that name, Kane Kalan. Synthetic fibers hold the style with minimal upkeep. The sheer lace front creates the illusion that hair is growing from your own scalp in a naturalistic hairline and allows off the face styling options. Permatease offers volume and fullness without adding extra weight. Extended neck allows more coverage of the nape of the neck so you can easily tuck away any stray hairs underneath. I like this one too. I have to say, I am very happy with this haul. And for the price, amazing to me. I even said to my husband, why spend the money on those higher end wigs when you can get wigs at these prices that look this great? Okay, so don't forget, let me know which is your favorite wig in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions at all about any of these wigs, I'm happy to check out whatever you wanna know. Just list them in the comments below or send them to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. If you like this content, please let me know by hitting the like button below. And if you're not a subscriber here, I'd love for you to join us. We do crochet projects and wigs. That's what I do here. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting combination, but I think it works. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.